Hello and welcome to the video series The Lambda Cube Unboxed. We're a group of students of mathematics and computer science at the Technical University of Berlin and under the supervision of Professor Uwe Nestmann we prepared and recorded these videos. The goal of these screencasts is to give you an introduction into the Lambda Calculus as a basic model of computation as well as a starting point into the fascinating field of type theory. We're going to do so by exploring a family of type systems for the Lambda Calculus known as the Lambda Cube. We're also going to take a look at a fundamental connection of type theory and mathematical logic, also known as the Curry-Howard isomorphism. Some consider this to be one of the most fascinating results of theoretical computer science. We're going to start off by introducing what's generally known as the untyped lambda calculus. We're going to analyze how computation works in this system, and give an intuition as to why it can be seen as a notion of computability, which is equivalent to Turing-definable functions. From there, we're going to introduce the simply typed lambda calculus, as a way of adding basic types to the untyped lambda calculus. Based on this, we're going to extend the simply typed lambda calculus in three different ways, resulting in three different type systems known as the systems lambda 2, lambda weak omega, and lambda p. These three extensions can be visualized as the axes in three-dimensional space starting from the simply typed lambda calculus. The features of these systems can then be combined to get four more type systems. This gives the shape of a three-dimensional cube, hence the name the lambda cube. Lastly, we're going to look at the aforementioned connection between type theory and mathematical logic, in particular how we can embed logic into the calculus of constructions. Many of the concepts that we are going to explore in these screencasts are not only of theoretical interest. The lambda calculus is the basis for functional programming and proof assistance, and since it corresponds to type systems and logic, the concepts can also be found in real-world programming. The content of these screencasts are mainly based on the following sources. Type Theory and Formal Proof, an introduction by Rob Niederpelt and Hermann Goives. This was our main source of information and was indispensable when planning the outline of this video series. Secondly, the book Lambda Calculi with Types by H.P. Barendrecht, on the basis of which Professor Nestmann held a course Lambda Calculus and Type Systems at the Technical University. This course was in large part the inspiration for this video series. Lastly, we were heavily inspired by the talk Propositions as Types by Philip Wadler, in particular for the last topic of this video series. In addition to those sources, we also recommend the following two papers, which go more into detail concerning the lower and higher order polymorphic lambda calculi, and are more on the theoretical side. The book Proofs and Types by Jean-Yves Girard, translated and with appendices by Paul Taylor and Yves Lafont, and Programming in Higher Order Type Lambda Calculi by Benjamin Pierce, Scott Dietzen and Spiro Mikhailov. All of these references are linked in the literature section. This topic is very complex and very broad. The basic principles are intuitive and more or less easy to understand, but the deeper one dives into a specific sub-area, the more complex it becomes, and there's a lot to say and a lot to learn in each subtopic. This theory can be analyzed from the purely mathematical side, from the perspective of functional programming, and also in terms of type theory and type checkers, or the approach of proof checkers, which is strongly connected to the logical approach. This video series is meant to provide an overview, first and foremost over the different systems of the lambda calculus, and to set these into the context of the lambda cube. But it's also meant to provide a starting point to do your own research and to go into more detail on the topics that you take an interest in. These videos aren't meant to provide you with all the information there is to know about the lambda cube and its systems, but rather watch these videos and Whenever there's a reference to further reading on a specific topic, or you take an interest in the mentioned direction, you can do your own research. Try working on these concepts on your own. In Type Theory and Formal Proof, and also in Lambda Calculus and Types, you can find exercises and questions of understanding. You can also look at the mentioned programming languages and test how they use these concepts. Afterwards, you can come back to these videos, maybe re-watch a certain one, and you'll probably see or understand connections that you couldn't before. In any case, we wish you lots of fun with the topic and we'll see you in the first video.